some groups remain up in arms against the government's jeepney modernization program, calling it the tokhang of the transportation sector. Senator Grace Poe says uh, the transportation department should at least step up on assisting jeepney drivers and operators in their transition to the modernization. May Ann Los Paños has the story. Jeepney drivers and operators are banding together to protest the government's jeepney modernization program. They say the move will kill their business as it would require them to retire their current workhorses and buy new units to meet regulations. The program will ban public utility jeepneys from plying roads if they're 15 years old or older. Dapat payagan nila tayo i-upgrade at i-rehabilitate ang mga jeepneys natin para makatugon doon sa pangangailangan ng roadworthiness at environmental friendliness. Handa naman tayo dun eh. Pero kung 2.1 million ang sasakyan kada unit at gagastos ka ng multimillion para sa garay at terminal, mawawala talaga tayo dahil hindi natin kakayanin. The modernization is expected to hit some 600,000 jeepney drivers and 300,000 operators. Groups like Piston believe that this particular measure will only lead to job losses. The sector finds an ally in Bayan Muna Partilist Congressman Carlos Zarate. Uh, para kunwari ay uh, gawing moderno ang ating transportation, para sa katotohanan, ito ay ang pagbubukas no, sa corporatization, no, commercial, no, sa, sa interes ng mga kapitalista sa transportation. Ang tawag ko nga rito, ito yung tukhang no, sa ating transportation. Senator Grace Poe, on the other hand, says she's not against upgrading public utility vehicles as this will lead to safer and cleaner rides for commuters. But she's being realistic. She believes that the 80,000 peso grant from the government won't be enough for small-time operators to buy new jeepneys that meet the criteria. She appeals to the Transportation Department to consider increasing the financial assistance to help operators pay for the new vehicles. Paano naman sila makakabili ng jeep na 1.2 million hanggang 1.8 million ang ibibigay mo lang 80,000 na down pay, pang down payment. So, anong pwede natin gawin dito? Isang, siguro kung hindi sila talaga makikinig sa ating mga resolusyon, eh, pwede magrekomenda para magkaroon ng batas uh, na tungkol sa ano dapat ang proseso ng modernization. The senator though admits that lawmakers can only do so much since they don't have the power to force the executive to delay or stop the program. But Po hints that legislators can turn to their own strength and take up the issue at budget hearings of agencies such as the DOTR. Ngayon, nasa kapangyarihan ng, ng Kongreso at Senado na gawin yan. Siyempre, ayaw naman natin gawin yan, di ba? Na basta ipitan dahil maraming apektado. Pero, kailangan muna nila patunayan ng kanilang sarili na sa tamang paraan nila ginagasta ang pera na pinapamahagi ng taong bayan. Dapat makarating sa mga drivers. Drivers and operators are worried that if the government will push through with the modernization plan, only big-time businessmen can benefit from this. They also fear that the program will lead to fair hikes as operators will likely pass on to commuters what they spent on the acquisition of the modern vehicles. Reporting for News 5, Me and Los Baños, We are One News.